Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Skurubuyu playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this video is just a bit of a quick retrospective on uh, the experience in draining the water from inside the ocean monument. Um, uh, I, um, I did uh, pretty much everything went according to plan uh, although there were a couple of things that I did and didn't do um, the the first thing I should probably note is that the um, the number of guardians that were over in the monument. Uh, so I, I did build the cover before heading over there. That means most of the guardian spawning is ha is happening on the outside of the monument. So there was much less guardian spawning inside the monument. Uh, however, I encountered um, very very few guardians. Um, I, I didn't keep track, but it was less than ten, uh, and I would really would have expected to see more than that. That was probably a result of um, uh, my uh, my rendering distance being eight chunks. Uh, and if your render distance is fewer than 10 chunks, um, it uh, pretty significantly aff affects mob spawning. So if I had set this to, say, 10 chunks or 12 chunks, um, then I would have expected to encounter more guardians on the inside of the uh, on the inside of the monument, uh, though not um, so many more that it would have been impossible to drain the water. Uh, but still, I, I would have expected to uh, see more than 10. I didn't. Um, of the ones that I did see, uh, I never battled them directly. You can see my sword here um, still has full durability. Uh, I never, never once used it. I instead, I brought with me two other pieces of equipment to uh, battle the guardians. Uh, the first is a bucket of lava. Uh, and the second is the flint and steel that's left that was left over from uh, igniting the TNT in order to kill the elder guardians. Um, I never used the flint and steel. Um, I, I always used the lava bucket. It turned out to be convenient enough to dispatch uh, whatever guardians were hopping around after I had um, after I had removed their water. Uh, and uh, and so I, I never actually um, uh, bothered with the flint and steel. Uh, if uh, um, I think probably in a revision of this procedure, I would uh, remove. I would not bring the flint and steel with me. It's not actually. Um, uh, it's uh, listed as equipment here in uh, in the um, in the project materials to bring out there. But I would probably remove it from here and just bring the bucket of lava. There's not really any sense in bringing both of these. Um, uh, so that's pretty much it for the Guardians, except for the fact that um, somewhere along the way, uh, I, and I didn't realize it, so I, I did. Uh, I cleared out the um, the entirety of this uh, of the interior of the water of this ocean monument uh, in survival mode uh, with no armor whatsoever. I, I um, somewhere along the way I lost my armor. I I don't know what happened to it. Uh, and uh, so probably I would just get rid of all this um, and not bother with armor uh, for this procedure at all. Um, I, I think I could do the whole thing um, uh, without having to worry about taking too many hits from the Guardians that I, that I actually need armor at all. Uh, so I, I'm going to be continuing with, uh, with no armor. And uh, it really wouldn't have been difficult to get to this point without armor. Uh, and uh, in fact, I, I was doing the most difficult part so far without armor. So... Uh, I, I don't think that it's going to be a problem. That also makes it a lot easier to uh, uh, to get out here and get started because that means I don't have to go in search of um, uh, a whole bunch of cows to kill or breed cows uh, in order to get the leather, uh, which saves me time in actually uh, setting up uh, setting up the whole project uh, at the beginning of a game. Um, besides the uh, besides the armor here, so uh, things that I things that I retrieved from the monument. Um, I started with uh, three sponges. Uh, these are the sponges that um, I obtained from killing the Elder Guardians. Uh, there were three sponge rooms over there. Uh, three sponge rooms is quite a lot. Uh, I, I need to find at least one in order to continue. Um, uh, and uh, I'm happy if there's two sponge rooms in an ocean monument. Three is pretty unusual. Um, uh, although I, it's uh, it's not so uncommon that uh, you're not going to find ocean monu uh, ocean monuments with three occasionally, but um, uh, but I did get quite a few sponges. I, I'd be happy uh, continuing the rest of the um, uh, the rest of the draining, draining the water above the monument with just these 29 sponges. Um, uh, but I'm happy to have gotten uh, a, another stack of sponges. 
Uh, I also came away with a few more prismarine shards. Um, if you uh, remember a long time ago when I first went over to uh, drain the penthouse, uh, I brought with me a couple of prismarine uh, blocks of prismarine and a couple of uh, prismarine shards that I had gotten. Uh, and the intention was to repair the damage that I had done to the monument in uh, killing the Elder Guardians. Uh, and I did get a few more Prismarine Shards from the, uh, from the few Guardians that I ended up fighting. Uh, enough that I was able to craft a, um, an extra block of uh, Prismarine uh, in order to uh, replace one that I had lost. Uh, so the monument is basically um, in the same shape it was. Uh, when uh, I first encountered it, uh, with the exception that um, uh, there's no water inside uh, and uh, it's lit up by some torches. Um, the other thing that I, I did not get while I was over there, uh, well, the, the one thing that I did not get that I, that I maybe should have, um, I didn't take the treasure. Uh, and that's because I realized too late uh, that I can't break blocks the blocks of gold without an iron pickaxe. Um, now, I, I had an iron pickaxe uh, from the deep mining that I did at the very, very beginning of the game in order to obtain the redstone that I need for, the, uh, for AFK and the sand dumping. Um, uh, and uh, and so I dug that out from uh, uh, from a chest of sort of miscellaneous materials, uh, and um, I think the the next time uh, I do this kind of draining work, uh, I probably should bring along this iron pickaxe in order to bring back the uh, blocks of gold, um, uh, which would be the only um, structural change that I would make to the uh, uh, to the ocean monument. Um, so I, I would I would bring uh, bring back those blocks of gold, and I didn't. Uh, I'll end up getting those later uh, because I want to use them as the cornerstones of the um, uh, of the perimeter for keeping the ocean from flowing back in as I drain the water from above the monument. Uh, Another thing that I would change um, is um, I, I brought along a stack of torches. So my uh, project materials for uh, for draining the interior include uh, one stack of torches. Uh, but I had more than that available, uh, and I probably would have brought two stacks. Uh, in fact, I came back here, I got another stack, and I went back over there, and, and I added a whole bunch of additional torches inside. Uh, and that's not because uh, it needs to be lit. Um, uh, there's no hostile mob spawning other than guardians in the in the entire volume of the uh, ocean monument uh, inside or above uh, which means that um, it doesn't need to be lit at all um, since uh, guardians require water to spawn af after the water's gone no hostile mobs are going to spawn there whatsoever um, but I do like things just generally lit up. Um, I, I'm planning on uh, maybe using this as a base or something, so I, I wanted to light the inside. Uh, I, I went ahead and uh, came back here, got that extra stack of torches, and, and uh, went in and uh, uh, added a whole bunch more torches. And this is what remains of my project materials. Uh, other things that I brought with me, um, I brought an entire stack of charcoal and uh, even drying out all of the additional sponges that I found in the sponge rooms here. I still have 22 uh, uh, pieces of charcoal left from that uh, original stack, so I did bring with me plenty of furnace fuel for drying out, um, uh, for drying out the wet sponges as I was using them to clear the interior of the monument. Uh, a couple of other notes here. The, um, uh, these are things that I didn't necessarily use. So, so I brought a chest. Uh, I have a chest in my project materials. I brought it along in order to help me manage my inventory while I was over there. I never really needed it, um, so I didn't put it down anywhere. Uh, but in the end, I'd probably still bring it anyway uh, because I did come very close at times to filling out my inventory, so I'd, I'd probably still want to bring it with me. Uh, and I only ever used one furnace while I was over there. Um, and that's not because I couldn't have used a second one. It's mostly because the um, I was just more concerned with removing water than, um, uh, than optimizing drying out my sponges. Uh, so even though I only used one furnace, I probably would bring two along. Uh, and uh, those are the um, those are the uh, um, thoughts that I had on the materials that I brought with me. Uh, a couple of uh, minor changes. Uh, again, I'd bring a couple more stacks of torches, and I'd I'd bring my iron pickaxe in order to retrieve the gold. Um, but um, other than that, um, uh, pro well, probably wouldn't bring the flint and steel either. Uh, I'd leave that here. 
I'd still bring along a sword, even though I never used it, um, just in case um, there are occasions where fighting with lava is probably not a good idea. So, um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, not very many changes, uh, some some minor uh, minor tweaks, but uh, uh, that's that's pretty much it uh, at this point. I'm going to be uh, gathering the rest of my project materials um, and uh, kind of moving my base onto the cover over there. Uh, because the uh, the last uh, phase of this project is to uh, drain the water from above the monument, uh, and uh, that is going to be uh, that is going to require a significant amount of work. So um, it's also going to require a significant amount of materials, uh, in, in particular sand, and I don't want to just be going back and forth all the time. So uh, I'll be uh, uh, moving my operation onto the monument itself, uh, and um, that's it. Uh, I think that uh, uh, everything's gone uh, well so far, sometimes better than expected. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please do leave a note in the comments.